Coming up next, we have Mark Gardner with Learning from Nayuki, hashtag honey money. Okay. Uh, I'm going to talk about a, a project. Uh, I'm an architect. Um, I actually believe that um, design, good design, uh, architecture um, can bring dignity. Uh, and so I, hopefully through this project, uh, I can talk a little bit about this. Um, you're going to hear a couple of words, Yuki, uh, which is uh, honeybee, and um, Asali, which is honey. Um, so the project is actually uh, working with a cooperative of, of 15,000 beekeepers um, in Tanzania, uh, led by this gentleman, David Kamara, who works with an NGO there. Um, what David is teaching is actual sustainable beekeeping, um, and also understanding that Bees and pollinators are, are critical for land use management, land conservation, ecological issues um, that affect um, the ecology of, of Tanzania. The other partner is um, Mary Canning with Follow the Honey. Um, beekeepers do love their puns. Um, <laughs> beeple, she would have me say. Um, <laughs> So uh, she actually works with a lot of the beekeepers as well. Um, you can see here a group of women. Um, they like to say, you know, they run their own businesses and the bees do the work. Um, so <laughs> this is the project. It's actually a, um, a facility, that a central hub that would allow the beekeepers to all come together in a central place to learn from one another. Um, to actually do studies with local universities, um, to look at the bee populations. The African bee has not been affected as uh, badly yet has the European bee, only really because some of the factors um, such as um, pesticides and the varroa mite have yet to affect them. But with climate change they, and, and changing techniques in farming, they will. So this is the, the project, this is the rendering of it. A lot of people think, oh, look, it's all done. Uh, no, <laughs> it's not done yet. <laughs> We're, we have a long road in front of us, but um, this is what I mean by hopefully a place that will create a sense of dignity for these people. I think they all are in remote locations, and so when they come together, they actually understand the value of, of what it is that they do. Um, and so in this, there would be a market, uh, a, a facility to allow them to extract the honey, to make bee products, classrooms. Um, they want a history center so they can keep track of the industry and how it's grown in, in their country. Um, we also have it as an opportunity to use sustainable techniques, um, water catchment, uh, ventilation, natural ventilation um, to cool. Um, also that it be of the place and so the materiality of it is also, we would make bricks um, in, an, in an industrialized form on site um, using the, the ground, the very ground that this place is to be built in. Um, just, and I'll run through just some images of what the project is. And hopefully um, we'll start to see some of this come together in, in 2019. The partners are there currently um, on site starting to work out some of the details. And I'll end with Asante Sana. Thank you. <laughs>